Today, I want to talk about how you should effectively launch a product. And when I'm talking about a product, I'm talking about, you know, it could be a service, it could be any of those things, but what's important is the sequence and how you do that. First and foremost, so that you have the most successful launch that you possibly can, but also so you can de-risk any time investment, money investment, as much as you possibly can to create more certainty and therefore more profitability around what you're trying to do. So the first point here really is, think about having a marketing first philosophy. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say you're gonna you know, create this product, it could be a physical product, you have to store it in a warehouse, you gotta get it made somewhere offshore in Southeast Asia. You know, there's a lot of time, money, investment that goes into that decision. And what I see a lot of people doing is they go and firstly get a prototype made, then they go and buy 20,000 stock units all of these things before they've even gone out there and tested whether there is an appetite for that product in the market. And this is fundamentally one of the worst things you can do. And it's been talked about quite a bit. The first time I heard about the philosophy of, of marketing first was actually from Tim Ferriss. He talked about in his book, the four hour, it was the four hour working week or the four hour week where essentially he used that same principle when he was launching one of his first businesses, which was an e-commerce business. And it made a lot of sense to me back then. And that book is well and truly over a decade old. But there are still people out there who are going out there and investing, as I said, a lot of money in the product first, when actually you should be thinking about the audience, the market, the customers, and getting that proof of concept, what we call the product market fit. So how do you do that? So first, first and foremost, you need to be able to get a, an audience, if you like, or be able to put the product or the idea out there and get some form of validation, some form of test. Now, if you haven't got your own audience, you haven't built a brand, you haven't kind of got that, um, that list, if you like, then the best way to actually do that is to partner with someone who is already speaking to the audience that you want to appeal to. Sometimes you might have to do a commercial deal with that person to get access to their audience, but all you really wanna do is almost like pre-launch your product get a message out there, get an offer out there with a the whole intention just to see what that appetite is like. And once you've done that, that's going to give you more certainty to be able to go to the next step, which is obviously, you know, potentially doing a, a more sort of formal pre-launch, giving some away, those sort of things, building more momentum, building more interest. And once you've started to do that, then you can go all in, if you like, and start to order some products and start to get them created. But there's nothing better, in my opinion, than using marketing to create desire and to create interest, intrigue, if you like, because lots of people have this psychology of both fear of missing out uh, and, and sort of fear of wanting something. They want something now. It's what I call the culture of immediacy. So the more that you can build up that expectation, get people having that sort of energy behind it, the more successful that you're going to be when you actually launch the product in its own right. So marketing first is very much about creating that demand as your first priority. Now, the other part I want to touch on today is, you know, well, how do you start to build an audience if you haven't got anything now? Well, there's only really two ways to build an audience. You can either pay for that audience, you can buy it through advertising, you know, go to the platforms where that audience is, but you have to pay for the right to do that. Or you have to do it by giving value, by putting stuff out into the world, which is offering enough value that, you know, people are going to be getting that uh, that sense that they they can you know know like trust you and then of course when you want to put something out there which is more commercial an offer or something like that then it's going to be more successful but of course the problem with that second strategy if you like is it takes time and it takes time to build up and it compounds but they are your choices but the key thing i want to sort of get across today is when you think about you know launching something creating a product definitely go a little bit wider definitely think more about the audience how you're going to reach them and do that first if you do that a you're going to basically be more successful because you're going to know before you've invested most of your time whether it's going to work or not and ultimately when you launch you'll get that ignition you'll get that punch and you'll ultimately have a more successful launch because you've created that urgency and demand in advance